afternoon, everyone, and welcome. Actually, it's not even afternoon. It feels like afternoon because I've been up since 4 o'clock this morning, but it is actually morning. I was up at 4 o'clock this morning because my dad had to leave really early and woke me up. But it is actually only 10, 19 in the morning. <laughs> Perhaps that's the reason that I got out of this when I did, now that I consider it. And actually, now that I consider the fact of that, I'm like, oh, my Lanta, that I even did such a great trade today because I am exhausted. All right, let's look at it. Journey Woman's off to Canada. See you in September. Excellent. Email me when you get back or you'll have your email with you. All right, let's go over the trade today for everyone in the world. So CSIQ was a gap. It was a gap down. Closed the night before up here at 2469. Gap down this morning and opened at 2145. Saw the gap down only this morning. I didn't have time to look at anything whatsoever yesterday. And I usually don't look at stuff at night anyways. Unless for some reason I'm bored or have nothing to do. Which is not the case at all anymore ever. But the reality was this was a good gap. I liked it this morning. I looked at it this morning. And I realized, guess what? NCOF. And I wrote it in the room. And I said, no chance of failure that CSIQ is the one today. I did rate a couple other things, but I really knew that there was no point in doing anything other than that. And then guess what I wrote this morning, which I wrote fairly early. And at the time that I wrote it, this was not even here. So then I saw this drop and open here, and I was like, okay, but I just did it. I just did it. And you know what? It ended up being completely exactly the way that I wanted it to set up, even despite the fact that it dropped into the open, because I said, in an ideal world, if it doesn't rally at all and falls of a planet into the open and must set up really by 935. So in an ideal world, I wanted it to not rally, which it did not, fall off a planet. If this isn't falling off a planet, I don't know what is. So it did fall off a planet and it absolutely set up by 935. <laughs> Go ASAP is really what I wanted this to do and it did. So what is this actually? This is actually selling action. And it's a nice selling action. And if you didn't short this aggressively today and get this, you didn't get the dollar moving it. Now, could you have shorted this here? Yes. Where did this go actually in here? You could have got, this was money here actually. But this would have been very, this would have been like what I would have called as a kamikaze. To short this here and do it here this late after this drop off, after this gap and the solid fall off and the hard fall would have been a kamikaze. Now, as it turns out, it worked. But it really was a kamikaze trade in here to do this late. And most traders probably did this here. Or not at all, because you would have missed this. So we got this whole thing. I mean, this was a nice, nice, nice call. And really, I mean, fell hard prior to the open and actually could have pooped us out. But that's one of the reasons why we put the stop where we did. I am doing a fantastic job this year of actually keeping us in trades, getting us to make sure that we get them in case they do go and fall off a planet like this did and I wanted it to and knew that it should have and it did. But if it had pooped us over it, it would have kept us in just like the one from yesterday in the second call in WMT, which kept us in when it did that thing. So I really know what the numbers are. But I will tell you, the beauty of my system is the fact that you can make this money so fast, so, 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 so quickly. And to be honest with you, I don't mind taking risk. I really don't have a problem with risk at all. I mean, look at the risk I took in this today. But I'm telling you that I don't want to be in it that long. And so I really want to go. I want to set up by 10, and I want to be out as quickly as humanly possible. Because I know that I can be perfect, and I've said this before, for 30 minutes or even an hour if I have to be. But it is extremely challenging to be perfect all day long. Therefore, people should not trade all day long. And you get tireder, the more tired, even if you're not up at 4 a.m., you get tired by noon, by 11.30, by 11.15, by 1 o'clock, by 2 o'clock, you, you're exhausted if you're in trades and still trading. And you're back and forth, back and forth, and you're not thinking clearly at all. It's too stressful, and it's just too annoying. So the best thing to do is to make the money quickly out of the gate as soon as you can. If the trade doesn't work, you're out. If the trade works, you're up and you're up quickly and you're not at risk for that long and you get the rest of the day to yourself. And that is one of the best things about my system. But I will tell you that what I really appreciate about myself today and feel a lot of gratitude for is the fact that I can see something like this and know that I have 100% conviction without a shadow of a doubt that it's actually going to work and we just do it. And we just do it and I just call it and when I'm as aggressive as I need to be. And actually, I even wrote this down too here now. Let me, let me just read this. This is what I said about this today. Actually, now I just forgot this here. This is on the sheet. Can do anything. This could do anything today, even reverse swoosh. And I'm going to take it. 
I actually said that about this today. I actually said it about this today, and I don't say that about every NCOF. I actually wrote that down about this today. Look at that. Oh, that's the other thing my dad said last night. He said, he said a really nice thing when he said that he's got to hand it to me that I've accomplished this figuring out how to trade and now all of the television stuff and persevering through every difficulty on my own without a husband or boyfriend. But he also said that I have just a tremendous amount of confidence. And he said, what's another word you use? He said, it was really cute. He's like, what's another word you use? He's like, it's not confidence, although you have confidence. He's like, you have a lot of confidence. He's like, what's another word? I said, conviction, dad. He said, yeah, that's what you have, Melissa. I said, yeah, that is what I have. And I'll tell you, when you have conviction, you're able to take risk in your trades. And you're able to do it and not sweat a bullet, not worry and know and have 100% conviction it's going to work. Just like this one yesterday. And I gave a little lecture yesterday when I was talking about it. And I said, if you don't, here, let's, this is working. Here, did anyone just do this? I just called this and I didn't do it even. But I'm done for the day. But did anyone just do this? This is working. Thanks, New Jersey Trader. No worries. You can come another time. Anyways, the, um... We were talking about this yesterday with WMT because I was saying that this was very sloppy yesterday until it broke and very choppy and probably a lot of traders didn't know what to do with it. Some were going long, some were going short. It was back and forth. And you had to have conviction that it was a short and it was a short. And it was a short. So that's, again, where having a system like the 26-point rating system really tells you if something is a long and a short and you have to know where you're going with it. And look, this went to the this went to the target today, and I did say 1960, and this basically that's it. I mean, that might be the low of the day. All right, this is Melissa with StockSwish.com. Have a great day, everyone. If you're interested in the next Golden Gap class, is August 29th and 30th. Thank you, everyone, and have a great day. Email me at Melissa at StockSwish.com for more information.